Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and in this video I want to show you how you can speed up photos in VSTC free video editor. So speeding up photos is a widely used technique among editors as well as filmmakers and uh, what it basically means is that you are kind of compressing multiple photos in a really small duration. So for example, you are compressing 10 photos, let's say in maybe one second and that means that each and every photo is getting just 100 milliseconds on the timeline. So the output of this is that you just get a slight glimpse of the photo. You don't get um, you don't get to watch the photo carefully on the timeline. And uh, that's the theory in general of speeding up photos. So without further delay, let's get started and see this effect. And uh, as you can see, I've already imported some images in my editor. So I've imported a total of 10 images in my editor right now and uh, the duration of each image is 5 seconds. So the total duration of my video is 40 seconds. Now what I will be doing is that I will be um, changing the duration of my images to 100 milliseconds. All right. So I've clicked on my first image. Let me just go to duration right here and let me just change the duration to 100 milliseconds. And uh, let me do the same for all the other nine images as well. Let me just change the duration to 100 milliseconds. And let me just click on my third image. And let me just change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Now let me just click on the fourth image. And again, let me just change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Let me just click on the fifth image and change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Sixth image, change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Seventh image, again change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Eighth image, change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Ninth image, change the duration to 100 milliseconds and finally the 10th image and again change the duration to 100 milliseconds so as you can see i have changed the duration of all my 10 images from 5 seconds to 100 milliseconds and now i will kind of compress them i will compress them one after the other and the total duration of my video will be then just one second. So from 40 seconds, I have uh, decreased the duration to one second by changing the duration of my images from five second to 100 milliseconds. So let me just quickly um, click on my second image and uh, just a second. Yes, let me just now click on my second image and um, like this and let me just click on this option right here which says align blocks by cursor and again let me just click on my third image and let me just click on align blocks by cursor let me just now place my cursor a little further let me just click on my fourth image and click on align blocks by cursor let me just click on my fifth image and uh, click on align blocks by cursor Again, let me just place my cursor a little further. Let me just click on the sixth image and click on align blocks by cursor. Seventh image and uh, let click on align blocks by cursor. Again, let me just place my cursor a little further. And uh, eighth image, eighth image, align blocks by cursor. Ninth image. Ninth image, ninth image, align blocks by cursor, and finally the tenth image. And uh, again, let me just click on align blocks by cursor. Now, as you can see, um, I have all my images right here, and now let me just place all the images one after the other. All right, let me just place all the images one after the other. So this is the fifth image right here. This is the sixth image right here. 
this is the seventh image right here this is the eighth image right here this is the ninth image right here and finally finally this is the tenth image so let me just recall everything the duration of each of my images previously was 5 seconds i decreased the duration from 5 second to 100 millisecond and um, i've changed the duration of all the 10 images from 5 second to 100 millisecond and i've combined all of them together now so the total duration of my video got decreased from 40 seconds to 1 second now if i just quickly play the video for you guys you will notice the difference on the screen and the images just go really fast all right so let me just play the video so as you can see guys since i compress the duration from 40 to one second one second just passes really fast and you just get a slight glimpse you just get a slight glimpse of the images all right you just get a slight glimpse of the images and uh, this is how you can actually speed up your photos and uh, images in vsdc after this you can actually try a couple of other things as well so for example now once you give a slight glimpse of all the photos to the audience or to the viewer now you can actually take up the first image right here so let me just import this image so let me just uh, import this image and uh, let me just select this image from the downloads folder and let me just import that in the editor now let me just give the first image a duration of 10 seconds and um, now let me just go to video effects let me just go to transforms let me just uh, select zoom and let me just click on ok now let me just change the zoom duration from 10 seconds to 5 seconds from 10 seconds to 5 seconds and uh, let me just change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change and uh, let me just change this from 100 100 to 50 uh, 50 90 50 90 all right now if i just quickly play the video for you once again from the start now watch the video on the screen all right so this is all the videos uh, this is all the images and this is the first image which i am kind of zooming in in the editor so that's it guys uh, this is how you can actually speed up your photos in vsdc all you need to do is shorten the duration of the images all right and then kind of compile them together so as you saw i shorten the duration from 40 second to one second so i decrease the duration of each image from 5 second to 100 millisecond and uh, that's how you know i kind of uh, sped up my images or photos um, but anyway this is all i wanted to share with you in this video do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching